Hey guys, this is Rachel with Urban Purpose here. Uh, we're just uh, coming today. We wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, one of the clients, one of the women we've worked with uh, over the past couple of years. This is Chris Culver, our friend. He's a pastor at Birmingham Community Church, and we've grown close with him and his church family over the years. Um, just walking with them, they've been really supportive of Urban Purpose and what they've done. So uh, we wanted to bring up today specifically um, about a year and a half ago now, Chris brought a woman from their congregation to us that um, had struggled with addiction, um, and she had um, had children throughout that addiction, and so she was kind of in a desperate place where she wanted to get clean, she wanted to be a mother to her children, and wanted to get her life back on track, and so um, we had just begun the safe house model, which you've heard about, and you'll continue to hear more about over the next couple of weeks. And um, so we practiced this model with this young lady. Um, she stayed with us for about five days and we had her um, working, we had her in counseling, we had her around healthy and good people and just for an environment that can really let her thrive and let her grow. And then uh, we went and sent her, uh, drove her to Mississippi for a rehab for um, a year and there's been a lot of ups and downs along that journey and uh, now she's back and working with us in another, uh, in another placement in another way. Um, yeah, so we wanted to just bring Chris in and just kind of ask him just like question like why you came to Urban Purpose, what about um, Urban Purpose did you see that could, could be there for her that could help her throughout this process? Yeah, um, I've known about you guys and what you were doing and we were kind of just developing a relationship uh, early on and, and I noticed uh, that you guys were concerned in doing some of the things that were very near and dear to me as a pastor. and. It, primarily this, I, I push my people and say, to, to love someone well, it, you really need to know them, right? And so I knew that Urban Purpose was doing that, that you guys had relationships with men and women in the city, ongoing relationships, and you knew how to care for them. Like, we, we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and too often, kind of, you know, the doctor says, here's, here's a pill to help with that, or the pastor says, just, just pray, or, and, and you guys didn't do that. You recognize that, that human beings need to be cared for in, in so many ways, and so, to know how someone needs to be cared for, you have to get to know them. You need to be walking with them. And I knew that Urban Purpose was doing that. And I, I think that's, in, in, I know that that's invaluable. Because sometimes helping somebody out, like is giving them 200 bucks to help make to the end of the month for rent. And sometimes that's the, like the worst thing that you can do is give somebody $200. And it, the only way to know the difference is to know them, to love them and care about them and to be seeking their flourishing in life. And so I knew that that's what Urban Purpose it's like at the core of, of what you guys, or the very center of what you guys do is loving people because of what Christ has done and because what is, Christ has called us to as a church. And so that was part of it. Um, the other part of it was I came almost with like a list of concerns, uh, or, or, or we were having conversations, and, and my big concern was I saw a, a gap in care, specifically in Birmingham uh, or in Alabama, and I don't, I don't know about the rest of the country, but I, I knew that there was a gap in care between when someone that struggles with addiction says that they need help and getting them into a place that can help them. Like there's there's a gap there and there's a gap at the other side. When you come out of this facility, like what do you do? And, and these gaps were super, I, I was super worried about them because I, I was seeing it over and over. Somebody says, I need help. And then, well, you can't come to this facility if you haven't detoxed yet. Or you can't do this if you don't have a driver's license. And you can't do this if, it was just, so, not, not bad things, but just so many hurdles to overcome for someone who says, I need help. And a lot of times the people around them, are, are, well, they're just not going to give, that. <laughs> they're not going to have that help, they don't have the capacity mm -hmm. to give that help. And so Urban Purpose was, we were having those conversations, and Urban Purpose, uh, Mark and Jim and you were like, hey, look, here's how we're, here's how we're doing that. The safe house up front, when someone says, I need help, boom, here's a place that you can go. Mm -hmm. it's, you're not just a place to go, but surrounded by people that care for you and love you. And then the other thing was, to walk you through that, to guide you through that, you're going to get lost. It just happens. And so Urban Purpose was doing that. They did that with this, this young woman where it wasn't just a, here's the safe place, here's what we're going to do for you, and then staying in touch, continuing to minister, continuing to encourage, continuing to find out how do we love this person well through this. Even when they come maybe out of rehab or they get to a place where they need additional help, saying, hey, like, how do we find them a job? How do we, how do we help them move, move past where they were? Uh, spiritually, get them enrolled and plug them in places that are uh, churches that are loving them, uh, jobs that are uh, a safe place, because not all jobs are safe places uh, for someone who struggles with addiction to be in. And so doing all of those things, uh, um, man, that's why I reached out to her and why, the, why they're 
why we support them, why we, we love what you guys do so much, because as a, as a pastor, I need access to those things. Mm -hmm. And so it's been just huge, uh, hugely beneficial to, to me and what you guys do for the city of Birmingham. I'm just incredibly grateful. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, so now this young lady, she's she's back in Birmingham and she is doing wonderfully. Um, so there's not to say there's not struggles there. There are, there yeah. always will be, um, but she is making strides. She's now working in our jobs program, um, working at Seeds Coffee Company a couple days a week, and Chris is lining up GED classes and just some other really great things going on. So uh, the rest of today, we'll share a little bit more about her story with you guys and. Just continue to follow us along our 110 journey um, and help us raise that money so that we can continue to do things for people like this young lady that Chris has brought to us. Uh, thanks for tuning in.